were living here in the middle of the desert, we really had no choice. We had to come with something in order to farm in this area. If you look at just about every Israeli home, school, park or farm, you'll notice something interesting. An innovative idea that makes the most of Israel's very limited water supply. Drip irrigation. People think that this is just a plain the hose with a hole in it. This is not the case. Behind each hole there's this very sophisticated dripper that uh, is pressure compensated, that is self-cleaning, that has filters in it. There's a lot of technology and research and development and innovation, so it's certainly not just a hole in a pipe. With drip irrigation, farmers can grow 40% more crops by using only half the regular amount of water. This has enabled Israelis to go from surviving in a desert to thriving as a leading exporter of fresh fruit and vegetables all around the world. And to think, it all started almost by accident. In the 1930s, an engineer named Simcha Blas noticed a row of trees where one of them was larger and greener than the rest. He saw a pipe with a small leak and realized these tiny drops of water were all that the tree needed to flourish. Shortly after, he teamed up with the farmers from Kibbutz Chatzerim to develop the Netafim drip irrigation system, which would revolutionize the farming industry in Israel and around the world. I mean, when we felt that we had something good in our hand, it was clear that this is going to help farmers in Australia, in South Africa, in Ethiopia, in uh, India. It, it is something good for the world, not just for ourselves. You know, when I travel and I see our uh, irrigation systems in remote places and I see how it helps people to grow more with less, I'm very proud uh, of it.